Thank you, Gary. Elliott has set a very tough pace, but there's 39 other teams, and I feel that energy down here. I know they're all ready to meet the challenge, including the team right behind me, Terry Labonte, defending Grand National Champion and the fastest GM qualifier. And this team right now is ready to go racing, right, guys? They're going to meet that challenge. Let's meet the rest of the field with foremost racing announcer, Paul Page. Paul. All right, Bruce, the field is on the pace lap now. Well, D.W., it is nice of the folks in NASCAR to honor Winston for their involvement for the last 33 years. It, it, Benny, you know, they just think about, you know, just like I do, what this sport was like when we were yeah. started in the 70s. Uh, you know, not very many people, 25 or 30,000, it was a big crowd. Uh, the places always looked like they needed to repair, no matter where you went, super speedway or short track. Winston, really, they stepped up our program big time, took it mainstream. And uh, they've done an incredible job with this sport. And uh, it's a shame to see them go, but as you well know, things change, got to move on. Uh, and Jeff Gordon right now wants to move on, but uh, he's trying to get by the other oh, Gordon. Oh, oh, hang on, Robbie. Loose in that 31 car, Robbie Gordon. And that's the way that second turn is, Benny. I mean, all and this. And he is loose yep. in and off. I'm told they said the, the harder you drive it in, the slower you go. Do you, is it hard to be patient on a track like this? You can burn up right, right, right front tires very easily. And then when you want to try to get aggressive with the throttle, you burn up your right rear very easily. So it's a setup where you've got to use all four tires. You don't have anything pushing down on the left side tires at a flat track. At a bank track, it's easy to get the left sides into the racetrack and get the momentum built up. So flat tracks, it's something you've got to take a natural act to. You just have to go for it. And the sooner you pick up the throttle, the worse you make the problems. You're pushing it makes it worse, you lose it makes it worse, so you got to sort of sit there and wait to get back in that block. And any time you wait on a racetrack, you're going backwards, so you've got to make sure that the setup's underneath you to actually not have as much wheel input in so you can get back to the throttle as quick as you can. Those are the words of Kurt Busch. He will start 23rd tomorrow with the New England 300 in his rubber made Ford. Larry, let's check in with Chris Myers. All right, never, never mind the uh, qualifying, guys. The real competition is who could do the best Sterling Marlin. Uh, Michael Waltrip, who's quite a, an impressionist himself, said he was uh, listening in Steve Burns, and yours wasn't exactly the best. That's no, nowhere near where it needs to be. It's too quick, huh? too jabby. It's got to flow more than that. I did a good Sterling Marlin one morning on the radio, and everybody kept going up to Sterling saying, you was good on radio this morning, and he thought, and finally just said, hey, damn, Michael. And uh, then he tried to wreck me when practice started, so I haven't done any Sterling since then. Townsend is from California and has rubbed wheels with many of these drivers on the grid today, so we look forward to a lot of comments from him. We'll catch up with their thoughts in just a moment, but before that, let's meet the other member of the team, Lee Diffie. He joins us from the Indianapolis garage where he's standing by with Dan Weldon. Well, Keith, with the big race not too far away, there's mixed emotions here in the Andretti Green camp. Of course, disappointment for Dario Frank Kitty missing this one after injuring himself with that motorcycle crash. But sheer joy and elation and a lot of excitement for this young man. Dan Weldon, your first Indianapolis 500. You must be thoroughly looking forward to it. How are the feelings at the moment? Yeah, obviously, I think a bit closer we're going to start to get a few butterflies. But right now, I think we're very prepared. With more on the stories a little bit farther in the pack, here's the newest member of the TNN Motorsports crew, Vince Welch. Thank you, Ralph. Happy to be here at the Texas Motor Speedway with a gentleman that uh, added his name recently to a very prestigious list, Eddie Cheever, whose face will now be on the Borg Warner Trophy as the winner at the Indianapolis 500 two weeks ago. And uh, Eddie, is it momentum that you bring here to Texas? It is an overcast day here in Dover, Delaware, but the speeds are up. The on-track activity is going to be hot as well. The MBNA Gold 400, they run for the Bud Pole this afternoon here on Speed Vision. Hi, everybody. I'm Eli Gold. Welcome to the Monster Mile, Dover Downs International Speedway. It's already been a busy day as we get set to run for the Bud Pole. You know, while they talked about being aggressive during qualifying, I'm telling you, this is the most terrifying thing that a driver can do, trying to qualify and get in that top 10, top 15 at the Darlington Raceway. This place is so doggone tough. You drive, as he said, drive down. Benny. What? Benny. I'm trying to do my stand. What? I can't believe you're going to come down here and try to be a pit reporter and take our job. Unbelievable. Hey, I just came down to try to show you guys. Well, Okay, yeah. now if, if you're gonna do this right, we gotta start. You gotta take the credential off. That looks terrible. <laughs> so we gotta work on that. We gotta take the credential off. How do you get in the garage area? You've heard Sam? Well, they know who you are. Your face is your credential. You've heard Sam? Gotta lose the sunglasses. You'll be in trouble. Sam, is that right? I gotta lose yes, the sunglasses? You have to lose the sunglasses. Trust me, Dave Burns has been in trouble for that. You gotta get rid of the hat and the pin. Hey. Well, no, no, no. Leave the hat on because if you took your hat on, off, we'd all need sunglasses. Exactly so. right. And <laughs> my head would get burned. And finally, you need some notes. 
Take some notes. There you go. You need to carry some notes hey, around. Hey, I got the notes. Come here, Burns. Burns has got some stuff. You got to wear the fire suit. Put that on here. And then put the TNT hat on at least instead of the U.S. Open hat. All right? Now you're ready to be a pit reporter. You ready? Do I need all this? Yes, you need all this. Liz?